I'm fascinated by teaching. It's something that I do all of the time, regardless of whether I'm in a classroom. And I think it's something we all do. You know, we can see a, a two-year-old teaching, right? Trying to teach another two-year-old how to play a game. So this is something that's a very human skill. And one of the things that I loved about teaching was the interaction I had with a student. The Teaching Brain Project is really about answering a fundamental question that is really poorly understood. Um, what is teaching? And it's something that I think begins with understanding the interaction between student and teacher, rather than looking at teaching as something that is just what a teacher does when they are acting or having a certain action with a student. And so teaching is really a skill that is core, I believe, to all humans and develops over time. And it's about understanding that development. And we know little about this. What are those cognitive, psychological, and biological processes that occur when we are teaching? So the study is just the beginning of exploring that fundamental question. Um, of what teaching is and what are these core characteristics of teaching. Teaching is not like learning. It cannot happen in isolation. Uh, learning can. Teaching has to happen as an interaction. And so this is something that we don't understand. We don't understand the interaction and how it happens and what is going on in our minds. We understand the learner much better than we understand the teacher. Um, but we cannot create just recipes and say, do this, without truly understanding the other piece of the interaction. So I am working with a group of 25 master teachers from pre-K all the way through university level. And the idea is that a master teacher will have fully developed this skill, or they're at the peak performance for this skill. And that data that I gather from them will help me to outline a conceptual framework for understanding teaching as a skill of humans. So this is not a study about um, let's stop understanding the learner and only focus on the teacher. This is a study about only when we truly understand both people within the relationship and the processes occurring can we really help the learners. And so it's about teaching an educator to be more self-aware of how their skill develops and where their strengths and weaknesses are. So the hope is that it will allow for better interactions, more successful interactions, where we can predict synchrony and also know that that synchrony is going to happen within brain activity, which is really exciting. So it has a lot of potential, not just within how we train teachers, but also how teachers that are currently practicing understand their own development. Success would mean at the end of this project, we have a conceptual framework for understanding the process of teaching, you know, that, that complete developmental trajectory. And that conceptual framework could then be used to create experimental studies um, about teaching, about this as an interaction. And so it's really about kind of sharing with the other schools and sharing with the public a conceptual framework to continue two-person neuroscience, to continue understanding the interaction um, so that we can create studies from that.